TV10 and WRNR proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live, recorded on 10 2020 Thank you to Berkeley County Sheriff Curtis Keller for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. This episode will feature the serving of an FPO, Family Protection Order, and a search for a suspicious individual. Law Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. Everything we had into this, she has the title to my house, my All right. home. You want me to get up to the thing? All right, buddy. Calm down. You're keen, in, right? Yeah. Okay. So, are you able to talk to me, or you got somebody? Here, I'll, I'll call you back. Call back real quick. All right. So, essentially, this is a family protection order. It's an emergency petition. Probably, it's as a result of the domestic earlier today. Okay. All right, so essentially what this says is that you can't have any contact with the female petitioner, okay, and the children until you're 14, okay? She's coming up here. Well, she's, I'll go through all that with you. You need to stay in your car. Stay in the car, please. We'll talk okay. to you when Give we're me the title of my house, please. Okay. Hold on. It's in the car. Yes. Let me tell you what you're... I, dude, I didn't ask Get in the car. I didn't ask you. Get in the yeah, car. Yeah, you did. You asked me to leave when you tried to f***ing hit my bike. All right. You trust him. This will make sense to you once I get to the page and I explain it to you. I'm just trying to see what your court date is here. All right, so this 11-12, okay? Okay. November 12th at 9.45. All right, so essentially what's going to happen with this paperwork that she found and the magistrate granted is going to give her and the children temporary custody That's of the home. That's not happening. Well, that is That's happening. No, it's okay. not. It, so, the house isn't in either one of our names. It's in it my mom's name. She can't stay. The magistrate here. is giving temporary right. custody. Right. Okay? That's fine. The magistrate so, can do what he wants, but as of eleven to somebody's you house that isn't mine. House okay. Because if, if I explain to you and you don't listen and you violate it, you're yeah. gonna go to jail, right? Yeah. So it, it would be wise to listen so you understand. All right. Eleven twelve nine forty five is your court date. Yeah. Okay. Until then, no contact with her, the children and they'll come into the residence. So is there anything else in here you're gonna need before we leave? Yeah, but I can't okay. fit it on a freaking right. motorcycle. So what's gonna happen with that in the interim, okay? No texting, no calling, no coming here, no going to her wherever she goes. She's gonna get temporary custody of the children until the court date and the residence, okay? Temporary. So when the court date comes and you go in and you get to plead your side of it, the magistrate at that time can deem that they're gonna dismiss it or they'll continue it, okay? Your obligation is till that date and that time to not hold up come that. here, not contact Correct. here. I got Correct. you. I, I it understand. is a temporary order. I got you. Okay, so you'll want to go by that. Again, no contact. It did also state in here when I read over it briefly that you can set up a time to come with law enforcement, okay, to get objects out of the house that you need. Obviously, we're not going to stand by for furniture and stuff like that, but if there's essentials that you need, clothing, work items, I got hygiene. I got most of okay, that. so is there anything else just essential right wise? Now. Okay. Not right now. If you find out that there is later on, you can call into the sheriff's department and set up a time. We will come out and accompany you. So that way you can get those items that you won't be in violation of the order. If you come without us, you're in violation, you'll be arrested. Yep. Okay? All right. Do you own any firearms or ammunition? No. Okay. You won't have access to any firearms or ammunition? All right, I'm gonna have you sign this. What this simply states is- If I refuse to sign it? All it's saying is that you don't have access to any firearms or ammunition. I'm required to tell you that because okay. if you are found right. with it- and So I'm not signing on, on the order? No, no, no. Okay. This is just saying that I went over with you that you cannot be in possession of a firearm or ammunition. You. That's all that is. You sign your name today is, I believe, the 29th. Now, if you go to a buddy's house or you get in their car and they got something, you need to make sure that they don't have it around you. Or if it is in the home, make sure it's secured under a lock that you don't have access to it, okay? So I don't want you to see you get hemmed up with that. Okay. Does this make sense to you? You have any yeah. questions? Uh, no, I don't have any questions. Okay. This is your copy. I'll circle your report date in here for you. Um, and I 
course, I'll, I'll be right here and talk to her. She obviously wants to speak with me as well. But just make sure you show up for that. If you don't, they'll continue it, so you know it won't be temporary. Oh no, we're not. We're not continuing anything. I'm, I'll be there. You don't have any questions, and you got everything you need. I do want my, I do want my she paperwork. She she okay. I'm going to go over and talk to her. Let me see what she's got. Right All right. Otherwise, if he's here, he's in violation of this order. This is what matters right now. Unless they change this and they give us a new one to serve that says otherwise, he'll be arrested for being here. Okay. What paperwork is he referring to that you have that he would like um, to have? that this is all that she has she said there's some other stuff here in a notebook but she doesn't know where it is and it's in that car it's the same place it's in the same place that this was no this is the title to my bike no i want the title to the house there's a blue there's a blue notebook in there stuffed in between the seats or on the passenger side floorboard if she didn't hide it from us Changing lock back. Do you have the old one? Okay. This is taking too long. 
Do you need you need me anymore? I'm gonna get that paper on. Anything else? Searching suspicious suspicious.